Uh, Tim, a few changes in the team with Cooper and Ludeman out. Do you want to talk us through that? Uh, yeah, basically it came down to performance. Um, we felt, though, as a selection group that both players, while senior players and important parts of our group, uh, had been given seven games this season of opportunity and neither had really grabbed that opportunity to especially make the runs we would like them to make. Um, batting at the top of the order and in the middle order as senior players, we, we really felt we needed more output from them. So we had a couple of younger players who'd performed very well at second eleven level and both at Greg or Premier Cricket level in Jake Weatherall and Alex Carey. Uh, and with three games to go and the potential still to play in a Shield final, we were keen to try and do something after a couple of losses to spark a change in performance and, and find a way for us to keep fighting for that second spot uh, on the Shield table and hopefully play in a Shield final. Yeah. So Alex Carey and Jake Weatherall come into the team. Can you just talk us through uh, some of the efforts so far in both second 11 and Premier Cricket? Yeah. Um, Alex Carey debuted two or three years ago, both in four-day and one-day cricket. Um, had a little taste then and was that was close to the end of the season and wasn't able to regain or retain his spot once that season started. Uh, he's been in our emerging Redbacks and played in our second 11 squads for the last couple of years and done very well. His form with the bat, both at second 11 level where he got a couple of 80s in a row in the last two games, but at Premier Cricket level has been outstanding. I think he's probably made three 300s in the last five or six hits with a 96 as well. So he's made lots of runs. He at bats at the top of the order and wicket keeps. Um, so with him in such fine form, we thought it was a good chance to get him into the game and, and hopefully find some runs in the middle order for us and keep well. And Tom Cooper uh, misses out to Jake Weatherall. Jack, Jake made a 100 in the last uh, Futures League or second 11 game against Western Australia at Glenelg Oval. Um, he's made some runs for University in the Premier Comp as well this year. Uh, he plays well off both the front and, f uh, and back foot and we just felt as though the time was right to introduce him to the team also. So Gary Putland's back as well. It's been a year since he's actually played. Um, How's he recovered from that calf injury? I kept him out of BBL for a while. Yeah, Gary's going as well as he has for a long time now, probably since before the Big Bash, uh, so that's, in, that's exciting for us. Uh, we've got Chad Sayers away with the Australian team. Um, Nick Benton was ill during the last Sheffield Shield match and hasn't been able to come up since, so he's still unavailable. Um, we just felt at this stage with, as I say, the chance to still play in a Sheffield Shield final that we wanted to roll the dice and get our best bowling attack we possibly could on the park. Um, so if we play four quicks, I expect that Gary Putnam will be there and thereabouts to play for us. Um, we like the idea of having a left arm bowler as well. They have four or five left handers in their top six New South Wales. Um, so we thought if we had someone that could swing the ball away from them, naturally that would be a benefit for us. And just finally, uh, Zamps is away uh, for international duty, but Tom Andrews comes back into the side after a really good debut. It must be promising to have those players in the that depth, the squad depth actually come through? Yeah, definitely. That's probably one of the challenges we face at the moment, to expose our young players when we can. Um, ideally, you have you know, 16 or 17 players at any given time wanting and willing to play for South Australia with some experience, so you don't need to give them some leading time or some developmental time at that level. So Tom's played seven or eight Matador Cup games at the start of the year to get a taste of state cricket. He played his first Sheffield Shield game against Queensland when Adam was away in New Zealand representing Australia. and. Now we've got the last three games of the year. We're expected. Well, Adam will be away again, representing Australia in the World 2020, uh, the 2020 World Cup. So Tom gets his chance. Uh, whether he plays or not will depend on the conditions at Coffs Harbour. Um, but we're really excited about him being inside the group and, and being around the team.